Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be working on a 16 by 20 canvas and I have a bunch of open cups you can see there. I have never done one with four uh, cups before, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I'm starting off putting some uh, folk art white pearl down. Sometimes, as you saw when I did the first one, I put it through and then lift up the cup other times I just pour it down first in a puddle and then put the cup back down. Um, this color here is from Deco Art Dazzling Metallics and it's called Ice Blue. And I got a couple air bubbles so I was gonna pop those. This one is my favorite bronze. I use it often. It's from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. And like I said, it's my favorite bronze. This one here is from Folk Art. It is Aquamarine. And it's really soft metallic -y color I like it and sometimes you can see that I lift and I'm doing that just to make sure the paint is continuing to come out um, this gold here is from Liquitex basics and then I've got teal topaz and that one is from folk art I will have all the names and brands of the paints in my description as well and if you're interested in purchasing any of the colors I do have links to my um, Amazon store in my description as well all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and lift the cups up just a touch and this color here is from Deco Art Extreme Sheen. It is coral. I wanted to add kind of a nice pop of color there, so that's why I'm using that color. Um, and also, you can start to see that I'm getting some cells that are developing. I am not using any silicone in any of my paints. Um, I am getting the cells by, there's a couple reasons, different paint densities will cause you to get natural cells and also from the paints pushing down um, on each other and then forcing it you know, up out of from under the cup, that really does help also. Um, I think I may have forgotten to tell you, but all my paints are mixed with my pouring medium, which is Liquitex pouring medium, Floetrol water, and I also add some Golden GAC 800. Um, it does work very well for helping to prevent cracking and uh, crazing, so I do like to add some of that in there as well. All right, so, you can definitely see that I am getting a bunch of cells. Sometimes um, it is helpful to kind of pour from up high. That way it does kind of push the paint out. Um, but sometimes I do kind of, uh, I'm used to pouring my paint from down the side. So that's why every once in a while you'll see me, oh, I remember. And then I, I kind of pour it like that one. <laughs> I, I kind of pour um, from a little bit higher up. All right, so I'm gonna um, get my stuff moved out of the way here in a second. And I think I'm just finishing up using the rest of that aquamarine I had a little bit left. All right, so I have got my handy dandy stick and I'm just gonna swirl it around, maybe kind of create some cool little designs in there because sometimes when you lift the open cups, they're kind of just this circle of solid color. And then you can also do that. So I guess I did both of them. <laughs> Gave it a little swirl effect um, from, from each of those cups. And I am really, really liking the way this is looking. I've got some cool lacing in there as well. And of course, those air bubbles need to be popped. Um, got to get those out of there. All right, so now I'm going to start moving and you can see that I am moving it really slow. Now this video has been sped up um, just, you know, because it would take forever. So um, it is sped up. Uh, so it's actually a lot slower than it looks. Um, I like to also in a lot of my techniques that I do, I like to go back to center, um, especially this one because I'm trying to kind of look at it as I go to see if there's anything that I'm really liking or, or that I see developing. Um, so that's always a good idea. And then you can also put it back down and just take a look at it and see if you see anything. All right, so now I guess I think I've got it pretty much covered and I'm just gonna go over the sides. I really, really am loving how these uh, cells and the lacing are opening up. Um, it looks really, really pretty. And these colors are so bright. 
depending on the angle, it kind of looks softer, but it really, really isn't. These colors are really bright. Um, and I'm liking it so far. So I've just got this last corner to cover and I'm almost done. I think it's just taken a little minute to get that over there and voila, I've got it all covered and now I'm just going to try to run that. I like that middle section there so I'm going to try to get it not necessarily perfect in the middle but as close as possible. So I'm really, really happy so far. All right, so now we're going to get you some wet photos to look at. See, look at how bright those colors are. Oh my gosh, and I'm loving all the lacing and all of the cells, and the composition is just really, really uh, great. I think um, I got it. I got uh, sort of even. I didn't have to dump too much of each open cup section off. So love, love, love. I'm super happy um, with with it so far. So now I'm gonna let it dry and I will be back. Okay guys, so here's some dried results for you to see. I am so happy with my results here. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And go ahead and share this video also if there's someone you think might like it. And I've got some more awesome videos for you to watch. Just click the links on the left there. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in my next video.